Ah, roses. Who doesn't love receiving them and giving them? It's even just as fun to grow them. And one of the things that happens with roses as the season winds down and the flowers become less and the plant kind of starts turning ugly on you is that you'll start to see these little bulbs that begin to grow. And these bulbs are actually called rose hips. And rose hips are high in vitamin C and you'll be able to do a whole lot of things with them. So let's go out to our roses and we're going to collect as many orange or red rose hips as possible. Once we got a bucket full, we'll go inside and we'll see exactly what we can do with them. is brought to you in part by Organic Choice from miracle Grow, Vitamins, Hormones, Super Thrive. I am so glad that we're inside because it was cold out there and that's exactly when you need to harvest these rose hips. Rose hips are fortified in vitamin C. As a matter of fact, they'll even surpass the vitamin C count in many of your citrus. Now we have to do something with these and remember, we need to find those that are orange or red in color. That's when we know that they're ready to go. First off, we'll just kind of wash it off a little bit and then we need to cut them in half. Now you can use a knife, the problem is, is that sometimes these are really hard, so you gotta be careful and you'll be chasing this around. What I like to do is get myself a pair of hand pruners or secatures and we'll take it and cut them in half. Now I like to take where we've pruned it off and where the flower was, you hold it with your fingers like this, then you bring your secatures right in the center and there you go, you've cut it in half. Now, what's gonna end up happening is that they're gonna be packed with seeds. And if you look at this, you can see all of the little seeds that are in there, and those are really kinda hairy. Not that I don't have much, anything against hair, but hairy seeds are a little bit of a problem. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a butter knife and we're gonna process these, and we're gonna scoop all these seeds out just like this. And once that it's all scooped out, we're gonna take them and we're gonna wash them off. Okay, now we've got ourselves a rose hip that is ready for cooking. If you go to my website, thingsgreen.com, you're gonna find some recipes on how you can process and put these in jams and jellies and things like that. Today, we're gonna take a look at how to dry these for potpourri or for tea of all things. You're gonna get a whole bunch of your rose hips that have been previously cut and you're gonna take the rose hips and put them in a dehydrator. And these things come with a lot of different levels so you could really pack them in there. Then what you'll do is that you'll cover it up, turn it on, come back, 24 hours later, you're gonna have all of these rose hips nice and dry. And if we were to take and match them together, you're gonna to see a big difference over here. This right here, is a dry one ready, ready for cooking. This one here is ready for potpourri. Now, to make it a tea, you could actually use it like this, or better still, grind it down, put it in a blender, a food processor, chop it up, and then you steep it in some hot water, just a couple of tablespoons in some hot water for about, oh, maybe five to eight minutes, and now you've got yourself a vitamin C packed rose hip tea. What could be better than that? For more information, come to my website, thingsgreen.com. This program is brought to you in part by Grow Your Own. Start your organic container garden now. Choose a container for the plant you're going to grow. Be certain it has a drainage hole, then fill it up with miracle Grow Organic Choice Potting Mix, featuring all natural organic ingredients. Next, plant the seed or seedling, then water and feed with miracle Grow Organic Choice all-purpose plant food. Use miracle Grow Organic Choice, helping you grow bigger, more beautiful plants. Super 
Thrive, Unique Extra Life, Transplanting, and Maintenance. Impossibilities made easy. 1,860 to 75 year old trees dug up from grounds of 20th Century Fox Studios, stockpiled in weather for two years, replanted along city streets. The landscape architect and contractor reported not one sick or dead tree at any time. Only Super Thrive could have done this or even approached it. Super Thrive, ask for it by name at your local garden center or nursery. When you log on to thingsgreen.com, don't forget to visit Things Green TV. There, you're going to find moving pictures and interviews with celebrities and a whole lot of how to do things. That's on thingsgreen.com. Donate, volunteer, take classes, see us online.org. <laughs> cool. <laughs> That might be all right. Today, we're going to show you how to collect these hips by and warm, but what you want to end up doing is collecting all of these orange or red rose hips 